friends. I got family. Fans are just driving this whole franchise forward. That's why you can, you know, without the fans, I don't think you'd be able to do seven movies. I know, it's amazing. Yeah, so it's totally unique. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Once they announced that I was in this movie, the fans just embraced me so amazingly. We were just really excited and wanted to know who I was playing and were really like involved in bringing me into this, this, this franchise. Now that our characters are kind of dealing with, you know, motherhood and family life and adjusting to like balancing things and marriage and with some of the of the characters, yeah. I feel like our, our fans are struggling with the same issues and dealing with the same milestones in a way. So it feels like we've all grown up together. The fans may think that it's just about them showing up to see the movie when it's released, but they have no idea how much we're on the internet looking and reading the comments and considering ideas and things that they make, critiques and just whatever, trying to, ah, you know what? That makes sense. We'll keep that in mind when we do it again. I'd probably say at the end of Fast 7 where I carried the big minigun and the minigun was originally attached to a helicopter, which I rip off. Oh, yeah, Appropriately, you rip off. <laughs> and then take care of the bad guys. I like the part five where uh, Paul Walker jumps off of the train onto the car with Vin Diesel and then they go off the cliff and they're suspended in midair for like five seconds. That's my favorite. Denzel, Will Smith, uh, Matt Damon. I would love for them to join us. They're badass. I would love Angelina Jolie since she was such a badass in Tomb Raider. I think oh, that yeah. would be, great be amazing. amazing. Yeah. I'd probably say Stallone. Bring him in just so I can hunt him down. Everyone else can answer the question without feeling obliged yeah. to make it happen. See what I mean? Yeah. If I do Good. it, it's got to happen. When I do it, I set the sights, right? And if I want somebody in this saga, I set sights on it. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You get them. I'll You're get them. Get them. <laughs> but I'm not going to let them know that I'm hunting. He's an angel forever will be an angel. We're doing everything on his behalf because this is a movie that represents the art. We went into this thing fighting to make sure that we took care of what needed to be handled. It's like wrapping up. And it's a graduation. It's a beautiful send off. Man, we were with him and had a great conversation seven days before he passed away. That was my fondest memory just because of the talk that we had about life, about family. That was my last moment with him, so. Everyone knows how vocal I've been about adding, or how adamant I've been about adding tags at the end of these movies. It was very important to not do that for Fast 7, for Furious 7. Yeah. It was very important to allow the homage to stand alone and to be as sacred as possible without thinking about tomorrow as a way of honoring our brother.